Hi everyone, Blake Jones here. In this episode of How Do You Do That, we're going to look over the basics of doing a good primary color correction. A good primary color correction is your basis for the entire shot that you're going to grade. If you get that done well, then very little else has to be done to the picture. This is your good basis that you can start off with. Now, a lot of people get confused because there's a lot of different tools in DaVinci Resolve. For example, you have HDR grading mode, you have log grading mode. So it's best just to keep it simple and just use the standard lift gamma and gain controls there. And you can do a fantastic primary color correction there. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to show you how to get started and how to do a good primary color correction utilizing the tools within DaVinci Resolve 18. Okay, as we mentioned earlier, the uh, principles of a good primary color correction is your basis for an excellent grade. So what you want to do first is we look at this picture. This was shot with Blackmagic RAW. And the first thing I do is I look at the scopes. And then I decide which control to attack first on my primary color correction window. So as you can see, I have lift, gamma, and gain. And so what happens is the lift will affect the dark areas of the picture. The gain will be the light areas of the picture and the gamma, the center area here or the mid range. So what we're going to do first is go to the lift area and we bring that up or down a bit. And as you can see here, by changing the lift, I can put a warmth into the dark areas or I can make it very blue in the dark areas but you see when they're all three level then it becomes neutral so as you can see her hair now is nice and black but I still have detail because I haven't crushed it as you can see this still basically above the line you don't want to do something like this because this is what is called crushing the blacks then you're going to lose your detail there so we want to just have it on the edge like that that's good now the gain operates in, a similar, operates in a similar principle. So for example, if I bring up the color control towards red, you see the light areas become red or blue or green, for example. So if we have them all three at an equal area, level rather, uh, you can now bring this up right to the edge. Now, the light areas are neutral, the dark areas are neutral. So now what I can do, so now what I can do here is now take the gamma control and either open it up or close it to achieve how either uh, thin I want the image or do I want to have it a little bit more powerful there. And then by using the gamma color control, I can then achieve my look. So I want to go for just a kind of a warmish look there in the picture. And there, and let's bring the gamma down just a little bit. And so now we have our good look in the picture. Now, if I want to have a grading that will be easy for me to that will make it easy for me to manipulate with, let's say, qualifiers in a later node. What you can also do, a little trick, is to come down to saturation. As you can see, saturation here is set at 50. That's the default. If you put it up at about 55, you see it looks pretty much the same, but you have that much extra color information in the picture and it will be much easier for you to do a qualifier at a later time. And so it just gives you all the information you have there and then you can create, even if you want to make a very, very extreme look, you can do this in a subsequent node, but then you still have this 
good grade in node number one that you can fall back to. So there we have it. For more information about training services, have a look in the comments below. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Think about subscribing to my YouTube channel so you can be alerted to all the new upcoming videos. Have a look at the other videos for other tips and tricks. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks a lot and have a great day.